so welcome back and let us continue our discussion on the basic geometrical concepts so in the last session we discussed about the concept of a point and a line segment now let us continue our discussion by understanding the concept of a line now let us try to understand what do we mean by a line let us say that we have two points let's call them as point A and another point is a point B and then we draw a straight line that connects these two points and we call this as a line segment that has points line segment whose end points are A and B now let us do one thing let us extend this line in B direction that is in the direction towards the B and let us extend in such a way that it goes on extending even out of this this arrow means that it is extending out of the page and keeps on going on and on it has basically no end so we have extended this line from here and let us try to do the same thing for the point A so we are extending it in the other direction it goes out of this area visible area and it still keeps on continuing right there is just no end to this now this concept right or this figure in which we have no end points it's very important to understand there are no end points okay so this is called a line so a simple definition of a line is a line has no end points that is a simple definition of a line now the other thing or the other observation that we need to note about line is that a line will have infinite points now why infinite points if you think a bit in detail we discuss that a line segment has finite points and because it has a start point and it has an end point but we say that a line has no end points it means it has infinite points right because of the definition we arrive that line simply has no end point and hence it has many 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 uncountable points okay now how do we represent a line so in order for us to represent a line we take any two points on the line and represent it using a bar so for example if we have this line a representation of this line would be a b followed by a double arrow like this now this this arrows in both the direction here they signify that this is a line because they keep on continuing and a and b refers to these two points on the line now this representation of a line it also says that two points are needed to define a line so this is an important thing if you want to define a line you need at least two points of course there could be more than two but minimum two points are definitely required for us to be able to define a line so uh, one another thing another way to represent a line is also using a simple uh, letter of the alphabet for example we can also say that this is a line l or we can also call this as a line m or n so you can also use these type of letters to represent a line so uh, these are the representations of line so just let me summarize it here for you so representation of a line so one way is using the letters of the alphabet 
which with these type of arrows and the other is using these letters L M N A or what whatever that is up to your choice so this was the concept of a line now let us build upon this and discuss one more concept and that will be that of an intersecting lines in order to understand this let us draw two lines so in order to draw lines we first make two points and then we draw a line between these two points and let me write these two points uh, okay or, or or since these are lines so we define two points a b okay and then this extends in this direction this is how you show the line okay now let us define another line so this is one line let us say that we have this line called a b or I can also call it as L. I'm just writing this so that you remember that we can also call this as line L. Or let us call it L1 for the sake of a bit simplicity. Now let us again identify two more points. Let me say that this is point and this is another point. And let us draw a line that is passing between these two points, passing through these two points. And then we again label these points as C and D, these points. And of course, since these are lines, so they are representing in both the directions. So they are just going ahead. I mean, they are continuing in, in, indefinitely in both the directions. Now, these are not just straight at the moment, but yeah, they have to be straight, just to remind you. And let us say that we call this as a line CD. Or we can also call this as a line L2. Now, what what is so unique about this lines? If we just have a look at this point over here, the point over here, this point, what's happening here? Both of these lines are passing through a common point. Let us say that this is a point P. Now these two lines l1 and l2 or a b and c d right they are called as intersecting lines so in order for us to understand what do we mean by intersecting lines so we can say that two lines passing through a common point are called intersecting lines so this was our discussion about lines and intersecting lines see you in the next session where we continue our discussion on the geometrical shapes